Hi, my name is Prem Asim Jain and uh, we are uh, learning MongoDB. So today in this video we are going to learn about the bulk insert of MongoDB. So we are on a DB which is called as mean hotel. So DB is the variable uh, which has been assigned the value of whatever current database we are using. So syntax is database dot collection name. So whatever is the name of collection, we'll uh, take that. For example, here, this is called as test collection. And then we can insert whatever data we want. So Mongo allows you uh, to insert one document at a time and uh, multiple document and they can be of different types and each document can have different database. That's the flexibility which gives Mongo. That's why it is famous and it's very agile because it does not constraints you of doing anything so uh, we are going to first see a simple mm, record we can call it as test and it got inserted as soon as it's get inserted it will give you mm, the message that it has been successfully inserted and then it also gives the number so now what uh, we are going to do is we are going to create a little bit complex uh, um, structure to be uh, pushed in so I have this uh, um, collection created so uh, what I do is just to do a bulk insert I will put these values inside an array so we need an array I have these three students and student can have a number or string or they can have another array or they can have another object which is called as the embedded object so we'll see uh, in more detail in uh, coming lectures but in this lecture what we are going to understand is how we can do bulk insert so for doing the bulk insert it's a uh, super simple we can uh, you know so there are two ways first is we can either do this as is which means we can do the same command but instead of passing one object we can pass the entire uh, entire uh, mm, string but it creates problem so uh, how to deal with it we can assign it to a variable and we can name it as bulk insert uh, because sir i think you the bracket uh, the reason why that is some error. Uh, if you see on above statement, you missed the parenthesis and the semicolon after the box bracket. So semicolon is not uh, required, basically. So even if we don't give semicolon, it's fine. So that is fine. We will just go with the variable. We would say it as bulk insert. No, if you see. Uh, if you see the first uh, couple of statements, dv dot test collection dot insert open parenthesis, open box bracket, and then you made a closed parenthesis. I think that's the reason for the error. Okay, we will see this again. So when you're pasting this, yeah. So the closed parenthesis and the semicolon are the problem here okay so this is one way and second thing is we can just assign it to a variable and we can assign the variable something like this and then we can just do db dot test collections dot insert and then whatever is the name of the variable that way it can go so semicolon is not required um, here on the console and then uh, since whenever there are bulk inserts or multiple queries it's a better practice to assign it to a variable and then check the variable before doing the insert for example we have assigned the value to a variable and before inserting we can just check it to see what value it gives and once we are satisfied it's in the console then we, we can do the insert which we just did here. Now we will just do a count on this. 
if uh, our data has got properly inserted so it should give us more counts it's 17 now we do insert again and then we count so it's 20 it's getting inserted now uh, as soon as uh, the command executes successfully uh, it uh, tells you that it's a bulk write and result would tell you how many records have been inserted or match modified so it has a different uh, each keyword has different meaning uh, so when we talk about upsert so we will cover that in the next session what upsert means so this was mainly to learn about the bulk insert uh, in mongodb